Today is my sister's birthday. If she were still with us on this planet, she would be 57. She died in 2018 of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer. She was the first of my siblings to leave, to move on. I have a younger, I have two younger brothers. I was the oldest of four kids. I have two younger brothers. One is in Texas with his family and one of them is in Crescent City, California with his family. And I am in Lancaster with my wife. And my children live in Nashville. And last night, throughout the night, Nashville, East Nashville mostly, I think, north and east, was plagued by a tornado. The restaurant where my daughter, one of my girls used to work, was destroyed. Several schools have suffered major damage. Lots of businesses and homes destroyed. I thank God my girls are safe. But it's times like that that I wonder, ah, do I really want to move to Nashville? Tornadoes, oh my goodness sakes. But hey, here in California, we have earthquakes. Some of the, co oh, I just got a text from one of my girls. She says lots of, oh, hor it didn't stay on the screen long enough, but it said lots of horrible damage. And there was a whole paragraph she wrote. So I'm gonna go check on that. Uh, that was my youngest girl. She says her place of business, Gardens of Babylon, is fine, but there are businesses right across the street that were destroyed. And she said the death toll is now up to eight. Eight people have died as a direct result of the tornado that passed through Nashville last night. Very sad. So, would I rather have earthquakes or tornadoes? I think I'd rather have earthquakes. I mean, if I had to choose. Because earthquakes happen, then they're done. Tornadoes, they haunt you. They just keep coming and coming. You never know, is it going to be us or our neighbors? Oh, my goodness sakes. <coughs> And Nashville, they have the Cumberland River that goes through Nashville, so they have flooding every once in a while. There's another text coming through from my wife asking if if they're driving around assessing the damage. Then uh, my girl says, "No way, I'm not driving. Just looking at photos." imagine a lot of people are going to be off work today and a lot of people will be volunteering helping clean up the mess and that's going to take a while that's going to take a while have a good day well howdy I had a fairly good day with my students there's uh we talked about rock and roll and rap and country western and salsa in our music appreciation classes today we listened to uh some rap and country I wrote some things down about it it's very exciting you i wish you could have been there it's very exciting and then uh, in band, we, uh, we're rehearsing, we're polishing up them tunes for the 
concert tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we're having a command performance. A command performance. You know what that is? That's when the queen or the king asks you to come perform at the palace. That's a command performance. Of course, we don't have no royalty. We don't have no monarchy where we live. So who is it? It's not the queen. It's the superintendent of the school district. That's who it is. The superintendent of the school district has asked us to come play at the board of trustees meeting tomorrow night. The board of trustees is gonna meet on our campus in the gymnasium. So we're just gonna play some songs. They asked for one in particular, a little Vivaldi called a Winter Largo from the Four Seasons. We played that in our Winter Showcase concert and she liked it a lot, so we're gonna play it again. And if we have time, we'll play our festival selections. Speaking of festivals, this Friday, we're going to Little Rock High School. We're gonna compete in a band and orchestra festival there. We're gonna play three songs. We're gonna play Castle Bay Overture. Then we're gonna play Fantasy on American Sailing Songs. And then we're gonna play Chanties. It's gonna be great. And then, oh my goodness sakes, next Thursday, a week from this week, Thursday, this is the next Thursday, not this Thursday, but the next Thursday, we're doing it again at another little, not literal, another band and orchestra festival in Phelan, California. What a funny name that is, Phelan, California. <laughs> it's a funny name, but it's not spelled like it sounds. It's P-H-E-L-A-N, Phelan, California, at Serrano High School where we're gonna play the same three selections. We're so excited, it's gonna be great. I wish you could be there, cause the band sounds amazing. Oh my goodness sakes, I wish you could hear this band. Cause they are amazing, they sound so good. I'm so proud, they've been working hard. We've been working hard together, they sound so good. Well. If you're in town, wait, I, I, have I just said too much? I think I've just said too much. I'm gonna turn this thing off. How do you turn this dang thing off?